Hey, Facebook. Just want to give everybody a chance to jump on, see if there's anybody out there in Facebook land that can go live. I know it is the middle of the day. Let's see, what time is it? It's 1.40, so a lot of people at work, but I don't know, maybe you're still at lunch. So see if anybody hops on, give you a second. But I'm about to tell you how I keep my air clean in my house, so. I need to make some anyway, so I thought that I would just jump on here and let you know how to make a quick and easy, very inexpensive antibacterial spray. So this is what I do. This is antibacterial spray. It's an empty bottle. You get these bottles at, um, I think I got this one at Amazon. You can get them out on Amazon. You can buy them, I don't know, like six in a pack. I think like six in a pack for six, seven dollars, something like that. Pretty cheap. So the first thing I do is I take my bottle and I add two cups of water. Now you don't wanna use uh, tap water. So this is uh, not distilled, you can use distilled water. But I just add the water. This is filtered water, that's what I'm trying to say. It's filtered water. So you can see, filtered water, just pour it in there. It's plain old water. And then to that is, I add some witch hazel. Now this is just witch hazel. I think I got this at Whole Foods. Um, it was pretty inexpensive. I can't remember how much, but you know, witch hazel's pretty, pretty expensive. So here it is, witch hazel. So I add two, let me pop it open, two tablespoons of witch hazel. So let's see, we got about one tablespoon two tablespoons, two tablespoons of witch hazel to the water. Maybe a little bit more, that didn't look quite like two tablespoons, a little bit more, there you go. So yeah, you can kind of see it getting foggy in there. That's gonna help it emulsify. So now the good stuff. I mean, this is just water and witch hazel, pretty inexpensive. So then we're gonna add wild orange, oh my God. You guys, if you could smell this wild orange, let me show it to you. doTERRA wild orange. This is the best smelling wild orange that I know. So this is, you cannot smell it without feeling like you're in a good mood. So I'm gonna add like 20 drops of wild orange. There you go, 20. And also this wild orange, you guys, you can actually drink, put this in your water. If this did not have the witch hazel in it, you could literally like put a drop in your water and drink it. Great, it's a citrus oil. It's gonna help detox and clean your body. Awesome, awesome. Oh my God, and it smells so good already. And I just have wild orange in there. So next, I'm gonna add 20 drops of lavender. And again, oh gosh, lavender helps to relax you. It's gonna just put you in a really chilled out mood. So just 20 drops of lavender. You can kind of see it there. You can see it in there a little bit. And then the third oil I'm gonna add is eucalyptus. If you wanna open up your airways and clean the air, put a little eucalyptus in there. It is so nice. Oh my gosh, just opens you up just completely. So I'm only gonna add four drops. It's really, it's pretty potent. Just four drops of eucalyptus. And then lastly, melaleuca. Melaleuca is tea tree oil, so if you are familiar with tea tree oil, then melaleuca is your oil. I mean, to clean, this is awesome if you wanna clean surfaces. You know, it's all, you know, all these oils are antimicrobial. So what better way to make an antibacterial spray than some awesome essential oils? And this is tea tree. So we're gonna add 14 drops of tea tree oil to our water. Okay, that's 14 drops. And you guys, there's like 
250 drops in this one bottle. So do the math. I mean, I'm adding 14 drops of this, 10 drops of that, 20 drops of, you know, that oil. So 250 drops in each container is like, you can get, like you can make a whole lot of antibacterial spray with each bottle is 250 drops. But I use it for a whole lot of other things, not just antibacterial spray. So then what I do is just take the lid, put the lid on, screw the lid on. It's pretty simple. Shake it up real good. You can see it kind of changes the color a little bit. You can see the oils all throughout the, the water in the witch hazel. And then I just shake it up and cooking odors, any kind of odor that you're trying to get rid of, spray it in the air, like you spray it, you can kind of see like a little mist fly down. Awesome, this is my favorite antibacterial spray. I don't buy like the house, you know, the things you get at the grocery store, like your, those harsh sprays with all the harsh chemicals. We don't use those anymore, you guys. This is the way of the future. And for my favorite way to use this is the garbage can. Personally, but I got, you know, two men here, my son, Damar, and my husband, Derek Davis. They, you know, when the, it's time for the garbage to go out, I'm like, hey guys, garbage. So they come take the garbage out. A little spray, watch, watch it. Woo, a little spray into the garbage can and you would not believe how fresh and clean it's gonna smell. It's like aromatherapy. I mean, every time you spray it, it, it actually, like, it seems like when I spray it, like say I cooked fish or something, and I spray it in the air, it like eats that fish odor out of the air and just clean, fresh air is left. So I had to make some anyway, and I wanted to share with you guys how simple and how easy it is to make your own antibacterial spray with just a few drops of oil, some water, and some witch hazel, and you're good to go. So, so there you go. Easy antibacterial hand spray. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.